Okay, we finished step two. We've added titles and uh, any artistic effect. I'm going to click on the next button at the bottom. And now we're on step three. Look at the top. It says narrate your pictures and customize motion. Narrate your pictures means make voice recordings on each slide. And um, customize motion refers to the fact that when you play this slideshow, um, each slide has a motion to it. And if you like the motion that Photo Story has already given to each of these slides, then you can keep it just the way it is. But if you want to customize the motion, then you can do that as well. And we're going to go into that in just a moment. First thing I want to show you again is that if you need help with this, there's the help menu right here with this link. And um, you notice down here you have the record button. When you click on that, you can record your voice over each of the slides at one slide at a time okay one recording on each slide at a time and um, there's another thing I want to show you here see the preview button this is the first step on step three this is where you can now preview what you've done so far and each of these five slides here uh, by default are set to five seconds so right now you've got a 25 second uh, slide presentation here and uh, I'm going to click on the preview and please uh, look to see how Photo Story is creating a motion effect over each of the slides. So I'm going to click on preview and you see on the first slide it's, it's inward and then it, it zooms out. On the second slide it's also zoomed in and zooms out by the end of the slide. On the third slide it's out and by the end of the slide it zooms in toward the bottom and the fourth slide because we put a title on it, it doesn't has no motion but you can add motion to that if you want and the last slide has a starting at the top and panning down to the bottom so I'm going to close this now and you can see that uh, you can well, first of all Photoshop I'm sorry a photo story will add uh, motion to this by default but you can change it you can you can customize the motion to go from the top down from the from down up, from left to right, right to left, uh, from in zooming out, from out zooming in. So let's do that now. Let's uh, go to the first slide, uh, click on this customize motion button and uh, see what we can do. So when you open this up, actually it'll be this uh, option button will be turned off when you first uh, open it up and you'll see you have a start position for the motion and then you have an end position for the motion. So the slide starts like this, wide open, and then the slide ends like this, where this box represents the view at the end of the slide. And everything here that's dulled out uh, is not seen. So basically on this slide, it's a zoom in. So I'm going to click on this option, okay? And now I can adjust these boxes. Notice how I can grab an edge of this box and adjust it and I can move the box around and uh, what I want to bring to your attention is the mouse uh, notice the mouse icon or mouse pointer has uh, four arrows uh, up down left right well when the mouse has four arrows like that you can move this this box around but if you want to change the size of the box then move the mouse over to a corner when there's a little white dot little white square now notice how the mouse now has uh, two points, diagonal, up and down. With that mode of the mouse, then you can change the size of the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out wide, all the way out, like this. All right, so I've made the box taking up the entire picture. So this, this uh, slide will start wide. And then I'm going to go over here to the end of the slide, and I'm going to make the box a little smaller, and move it over to the left so that the bo the end of the slide zooms in on the front of both the 747 and the shuttle. So here's the start position of the slide, here's the end position of the slide. Okay, so I'm going to now come down to the zoom, I'm sorry, I'm going to now come down to the preview button and click on it and we'll see the motion uh, as I've now customized it. Starting out wide, zooming in to the front of the uh, to craft. Okay, and then it transitions into the next slide. I'm going to close the preview box. Okay, so I've just customized that. 
I could customize it any way I want. If I wanted to do it the other way around, I could come start start uh, zoomed in, and then on the end position, bring the box out like that. Let's hit preview and see what that looks like. Okay, notice it's zoomed in. It's zooming out and taking in the full picture, and then it transitions into the next picture. All right, I'm going to close that uh, preview window. You can hit save and go on to the next uh, slide if you want. Also, I'm going to show you there's a tab here for transitions. This uh, allows you to choose uh, the transition into the next slide. For example, if I click this circle, it'll transition into a circle opening up, etc. Okay, I'm going to go back to the motion and duration. This slide is set for five seconds, but if when you make your recording, you go over the five seconds. Let's say you speak for 10 seconds on this slide, then the slide will stay uh, uh, viewed for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this. And now we've customized the motion for the first slide. Go to the second slide, and if I want to customize its motion, I'll click there. Okay, I'm going to stop uh, at uh, 